I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you some questions which we are going to solve using partial fractions. Now we need to integrate all these functions and they are all as you can see rational functions. So a method to find the integration of rational functions is partial fractions. So, so we are working on rational functions, right? So most of the rational functions can be integrated using this method of integration which is called partial fractions. Now we have different types of examples here. In the first two you find that the degree of numerator is not less than the degree of denominator. In these three examples degree of denominator is higher, right? So. So what we call these three are proper rational functions. Since the degree of numerator is lower than denominator and these two types are called improper. Now the method is that whenever you are working with improper rational functions, that is numerator degree is higher. In this particular case, numerator degree is 2, denominator is 1, higher by 1. And here the degree is same, right? So it is not lower, I should say. In that case, we perform long division and then we factor. So just to give you an example, for example, we have x square plus 1, you should divide x square plus 1 by x minus 2. Now here we do not have x terms. We will introduce the placeholder and then we will divide this function by the denominator which is x minus 2. So if you do that, you get x here, x square minus 2x, then take away 2x plus 1 and then you have to adjust to plus 2 times, so which is 2x minus 4. The remainder here will be 5. And therefore, this particular function could be written as the combination of these two. So I've done for this. So let me just show you uh, what you have to divide this one also to get it in this form. So the form which you will write this function as, that is should be your first step. So integration will be of uh, divide this into fractions, right? Different factors. So x plus 2 is a whole number, kind of, right? Do you see that? Remainder is 5 plus 5, so we'll say plus 5 over x minus 2 d of x. So, so the integration of this rational function reduces to that kind of a function, and now it is kind of simpler, right? So, so the answer is kind of, let's do it here. So x integration will be x squared by 2, this will be plus 2x and here will be plus 5 ln x minus 2 plus c. So we get the result. So you could do this example also, just divide x plus 5 by x minus 2, right? And then you get some function like this, and similar result you will get for that one. So whenever the degree is higher or same, that means not lower, we call those as irrational, improper rational functions. I'm sorry, they're not proper rational functions. Now, proper rational functions are those fractions where degree of denominator is higher. Then we say they are proper rational functions. Now, in such cases, what you need to do is you need to factor denominator. So in this, the steps involved will involve uh, to factor denominator. So we have three examples. The first one I've already given you in the factored form. Here this one is kind of very critical. Uh, let me show you the factoring for, for this one. Uh, this one could be written as integral of x squared plus 2x plus 4 and when you factor the denominator you can take x common right and what you get is x squared plus 4 d of x 
Now, x squared plus 4 cannot be further factor. Remember that part. So, you could actually write it as a partial factor and find the integral of this function. Remember, we use uh, when it is x squared plus 4 in the denominator, you may use the tan inverse function as your result, right? So, it would be uh, a 1 over a, which is 1 over 2 in this case, and uh, tan inverse of uh, this by 2, right? x by 2. So, that is your answer for the other factor where the denominator is x squared plus 4. That helps. But anyway, the idea is here still you can factor, and once you partial factor, you can find the result. Solution of these will be uh, given in the following videos. So, we'll I'm going to provide you with the links. Here we are only discussing overall method of finding integral of such rational functions. The last one here is kind of unique that you cannot factor the denominator. So what do you observe here is that the term 4x squared minus 4x plus 3 cannot be factored uh, since You'll find if you figure out what is b square minus 4ac, b is minus 4, you can say uh, minus 4 square minus 4 times a is 4 and 3 is c. What you really get here is 16 minus, now that is 16 times 3. Do you see that? That is 16 times 3. Okay, so, so 16 times 3 is 48 and that results to minus 32. Now that's a negative number b square minus 4ac is negative and so this function in the denominator cannot be factored. So in this particular case you cannot use partial fractions. So, so partial fractions cannot be used. Therefore partial fraction cannot be used. So likewise uh, we have many exceptions where rational functions cannot be integrated using this technique, right? So in such cases, what you need to do is you need to complete the squares and then do substitution. So the strategy here is to uh, complete squares and then do substitution or some other method, okay? Okay, that should work here in this particular case. Anyway, the idea of this video is to give you an overview of type of questions which can be uh, solved using partial fractions and there will be few which cannot be solved as given here, right? And uh, the links which I am going to provide and you see that icon on the top. So whenever you see that icon, if you click on that, you will get solution of each one of them. That should help you to uh, understand solution of these questions. I am Anil Kumar and I hope uh, it gives you a good overview. You can always share and subscribe to my videos. Feel free to post questions and if you like, you may put like on my videos. Thank you and all the best.